Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be cooking some chicken wings floured with Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. We're going to be doing some hand cut fries and we're going to be cooking them in the Go Wise Air Fryer, the Breville Smart Oven Air, and also in the oven and kind of compare them all. The video is going to be a little bit long, but I appreciate it if you could stick with me. this soak for a little bit. Okay, this is the third coat. I am now going to stick it in the fridge for at least a half an hour so that the seasoned flour will stick to the chicken and won't fall off during the cooking process. Okay, so these fries have been soaking for about a half an hour, so I'm going to drain it and let them dry off a little bit. And that, folks, is a lot of fries. I didn't expect it to be so much. I knew I should have stopped at three. Pour a little Evo on here. A little more than needed because I'm going to cook this in a couple of places. Any of the extra will drain off in the bottom so I'm not worried about it. Alright, I'm going to put some of that pink salt on here. It may look like a lot, but a lot of it's going to come off too. Well, nobody's looking. Alright, so I'm preheating everything here. The air fryer, I'm preheating at 400 as well as the Breville. The stove, I am going to do uh, 425 because uh, that's usually what I cook chicken and fries at in there. These usually need less temperature. So as soon as these are preheated, we're going to put the food in the trays and we're going to get going. One other mention is uh, for the air fry setting, you're supposed to put this at uh, level 3. But since I'm using this basket in there, this is going to raise it up a little bit. So I'm putting it on position four. That way when I put this basket in, it will raise it. Okay, we're ready to stop loading up. I'm going to spray uh, this with some olive oil. I'm going to put some fries in each of these. Fry it out. Your eyeglasses are ready. All right, I'm gonna get these wings sprayed. Train them down extra good here. Okay, the Breville just beeped. That means I'm putting that in. Um, this is going in the oven 425 in convection mode. I want to be try to compare it. Set the timer on this for 10 minutes. I know it's going to take longer before I flip it. Air fryer, ready to go. And I'm going to spray the top of these again, as I mentioned, because the other side is oils and the airflow underneath. And uh, we'll uh, check back in about 10 minutes with all of these. So a couple of quick notes here. The Breville is on a dedicated 15 amp circuit. The only thing on this circuit is the coffee maker over here. And the coffee only runs in the morning. I don't drink coffee myself, um, but that's that. And then there's a Belgian waffle maker and I might do something on that soon. 
this right here, the air fryer, is running off a circuit that's only shared with the 15 amp circuit for the bathroom. Uh, it sits behind the stove, so if I had a gas stove, that outlet would be used just to light the pilot and have a light on the stove itself. Otherwise, that outlet's not used. So as long as I'm not like in the bathroom below drying my long locks of golden blonde hair, there's not going to be an issue with air frying. You see what I'm saying? Plus, you know, what am I going to do? Like bring a long extension, go woo, woo, and, and like like start flipping things and stuff. You know that kind of thing. Anyway, so uh, you know, about 10 minutes, we're going to be checking up on this. I can actually see the chicken uh, bubbling. The uh, liquids on top with the light. Turn that light back on. Yeah, I can see all the little sizzle. Let's see if we can uh, get you to see that. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the sizzling in there. Kind of cool. Okay, we got 10 minutes on the convection oven. Those do not look like they're ready to flip. However, they look like they could use a little more oil in some places back to the fuel. Now let's check the air fryer after 10 minutes. Um, they look like they could be turned. A little out of oil here, so I'm going to have to uh, grab another can. I'm going to have to get myself one of those spritzers everybody's buying, because these cans don't last long, the way you got to spray things down in the air fryer. So I'm going to spray them. That comes out nice when it works. And I'm going to turn them. Now the fries aren't near way near ready, but you can see that maybe turn everything in here. The fries I find always take about 25 minutes anyway. I have a feeling this is going to be done pretty soon in about seven minutes. Get this back in the air fryer. Let's take a look at the Breville. Now it's been about uh, 11 minutes. That plate is hot, I have to tell you. So, spraying those down. I'm also going to turn them. And it's not sticking. That's a nice thing here. So, this Gotham plate, although I did spray it down, it is not sticking. That's a good sign. I would have loved to have done a fourth test here. I would like to do a regular oil frying, but this type of cooking is to get away from it. But oil frying definitely tastes pretty darn good. All right. So we got those flipped. Again, I'm not going to touch the fries. Let's get these nice and wet here. And get this back in. This kit is pretty hot, I tell you. And fun to try to figure out how to get it without burning the knuckles. I have a feeling the Breville will take a little longer than the air fryer. That's just my observation right now. One thing I noticed about the Breville, it defaulted to convection and not super convection when I went to air fry. I didn't have to read up on that, but I would think air fry would be super convection. So I just turned that on halfway through. I'm going to research it and I'll get back to you on that on a, on a later video. But it's 10 at convection, 10 at super convection. So with that being said, we'll get uh, back to you in a minute here with the cooking. Okay, the wings have been in there about 16, 17 minutes because I did preheat this. Let's take a look. And I would say that the wings are done. Fries might need a couple more minutes. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Fries are basically done. I'm going to give them a little shake. I'm going to give them a little squirt too, yeah. I'll let those cook another few minutes. I'll let the fries go the remaining time in the air fryer. Let's take another look at the Breville. Those look like they can go a couple more minutes. And I turn up the temperature in the Breville 425 to kind of crisp these out. Here's the air fryer ones. Do a quick taste of one of these. Mm, what to do, what to do. This one right here looks good. I'm not gonna burn my mouth. Time and time again, the air fryer does a great job. This is the second time I've done this with three coatings. My last video, go check it out, I did four coatings. Boy. 
that crust, crisp, thick, and it's juicy on the inside. Mm. It's good. So, that's the air fryer. The villa's up next. Let's give it a couple minutes. Okay. Don't be jealous. Finger licking good. Fries are done from the air fryer. Get those on a plate. Plug it to the air fryer. Oh, oh, fire hot. It's a uh, crispy fry. A little ketchup. Never double dip. That's why I'm turning the fryer around. Good fries. Oh, your Breville is ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so we're going to get this uh, out of here. The fries, I think, have to cook a little longer, but the chicken could be done. All right. Um, let's see how the fries are. Fries are going to need a little more time here. So, unfortunately, I have to waste another bowl here. Gonna keep everything uh, separated so I can figure everything out. Look at that cute little drumstick. If you want, you can get her started on some of those. Yeah, have some fries too. Okay, why don't you just put a couple on the plate first? To be honest, I think with the Breville, I have to turn up the temperature higher to cook the chicken and fries. So you can see now if I can shake this basket a little bit. Get those fries, yeah. Put the fries in there another five minutes. And that noise is the convection fan. I don't know when it started, just started to move. I think the chicken's gonna go a little bit longer. So don't the fries. Let me, uh, these fries around, put them over if I can, put these back in, check them again in five minutes. Okay, these are the ones from the air fryer, these are the ones from the Breville. Pick my favorite one here. I love to do the mini drumstick just because it's so damn cute. Bite. Okay. First observation. Just passing some of the goodness over. That'll be a cutout. That's a lot, Marino. I want to be a YouTube sensation too. YouTube sensation. Mm. Um. No fault of the Breville, I think I should have cooked the chicken at a higher temperature. It's not as crispy, but it's still good, and the chicken is still moist. So I'm going to have to uh, revisit that or maybe pop the chicken in at a high temperature for a couple of minutes just to crisp that up while I'm tasting all this. Turn up the temp of the Breville to maximum 480 in just a few minutes. Mandel. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Man, those air fryer wings are good. Okay, let's take out the uh, Breville wings again. The fries look ready too, we'll take those out. Okay, so let's uh, put these wings here on the side so I know which ones are which. We'll give those a couple of minutes to cool. We got some fries here. Pop those in another plate. Look at all this crunchy stuff here on the bottom. That's, uh, you know, a dream. You get all those little crispies in the bottom of the pan. You gotta pick those things and eat them. That's kind of like an unwritten law. Okay. There's the fries. Get some ketchup. Fries are good. Not as crispy. It depends how you like crispy. I like them extra extra. 
put my face in front of it so it focuses. I think that's going to be the key with the Breville compared to the air fryer, higher temperature. And that will take care of the crispiness in the, in the cook time. Let's check the oven and then we're going to check the Breville chicken. Taste the Breville chicken. There we go. I think we're done. Well, I'm going to have to start using another plate. I'm going to use the ketchup from my, my uh, plate here and uh, one of these fries. Mm, this one. Mm. Crispy fries. I'm gonna make sure I don't taint it. These came out of the oven. I think more or less the fries are gonna be the same. Okay. Here's the bowl from the Breville. This is the. There goes nothing. Okay, look we'll we now. So I'm treating the Breville like a traditional type air fryer, which it's, I guess, really not. Ooh, it's hot. And <clears throat> a little bit of shout out here. Uh, Crystal from My Gadget Kitchen. She did an excellent comparison with all these devices with uh, chicken. And, uh, ooh. I'm gonna go suggest you go check that out. Maybe I can find it and I'll put a link. One of those two corners. But now the Breville is crispy. So I learned something. They all do the job. Um, the air fryer, undeniably, very crispy. But I think that's an easy fix. They're just going to change the temperature of the Breville itself. Man. That's good. <clears throat> so, again, this was a longer video. I know. I, I don't like doing longer videos anymore. Probably 40 minutes. Now that we're going through it. But uh, if you stuck with me, thank you very much. If you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Please visit the uh, channels I uh, posted below to uh, support them as well. They all do a fantastic job and uh, they all deserve praise for what they do. Anyway, thank you and we'll see you on the next one. Let me some chicken. Ooh, gonna try me a Breville drumstick.